Um, okay, so you said jerseys and the actual play being played. Well, that's a good question, though. Do you think the plays that the coaches make Honestly, are better think, in the NBA than WNBA? I think he's talking about, like, uh, let's say the, the fancy pass with the dunk at the end or someone getting jer- uh, mm, someone getting posted. Or, gotcha. You don't see that enough in WNBA. Because well, at the end of the day, I'm not going to buy uh, – I'm not gonna buy a br- no. Br- no one's getting dunked out in the WNBA like that. Like mm-hmm. LeBron putting, jumping over gotcha. someone, putting them something. Maybe they are. We just don't see it. Honestly, but the thing is also. I n- I never seen a WNBA game in my life. Well, because it's not fun. Huh? I mean, it's not fun. Like I think no, I'm being <coughs> it's not. Fun. Not me. It's your opinion what though. The fuck, it's my opinion. I don't give a fuck. You're saying it's trash. You should, I, I get it. Do you, have you ever seen a WNBA game? I was. I've never I seen a game. I, 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 I I've never seen a game. Just, I can literally just name you two players like that. Yeah. Lisa so, Leslie. Uh, Brittany Grinder. Uh, Brittany Grinder. That sounds like a porn star. <laughs> that sounds like a porn star. It is. It's Brittany Grinder. The, the big. The big. Charge that up on your phone right now. Thank you, Brody. Keep it, keep up the work. I remember. Good answer. Thank you, Brody. Keep up the good work. Chico. Uh, <laughs> Chico. What's good? That's uh, Arian. What's no, popping, my guy? I, yeah, but honestly, I don't give a fuck. I, I honestly think that but Brittany Grinder is the, the big six. That's a porn star, bro. Stop yeah, it. No, exactly he said it's Brittany Grinder, like that's an NBA She's player. Not a porn star. That's a WNBA. No, that's not look a at WNBA. It, look at it like this. It's true what you say. Those the WNBA does not make the near numbers. So how do you pay if you're not generating a million dollars, how do you expect to get paid? Twelve million dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, the, the how? people, yeah, how? the, the, the people aren't as invested. That's what it is. If your brand is not generating enough, exactly, money, exactly. And this comes out again. This comes back to who? Who would you want to see? LeBron James dunking on somebody. LeBron, not even something frequency like athletic, mm-hmm. like a Zion Williams. You want to see him dunk on everybody? Yeah. Who's in the WNBA doing that? You, it's, it's. I don't. Genetic. I never it's, seen it. Never Lisa seen Leslie's wait, never wait, dunked wait, on wait, nobody. Wait, wait. It's Search up poster moves on WNBA. Search that up on YouTube. Not to be sexist or anything, but it's 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 genetics. It's, it's genetics. Men are stronger and bigger than women. Usually, yeah. Usually, for sure. that's how. Usually I agree. It's happen. Yeah. But there's there's no audience in that. Like, there's no audience there. And she said, "Ask ask him how he feels about the vice president, uh, Kamala." The Finish out that thought first. Finish out the WNBA thought, and then we could we could run that. I'm gonna be real with you. I rather I rather go ahead and buy a LeBron jersey, and everybody recognizes this LeBron jersey. And then get a, then get the best player in the WNBA, get her jersey, no, the whole si- the whole suit. Yeah, yeah. And who the fuck is that? You wait, don't know wait. who this is? I mean, look, th- this is, I just I just feel like the WNBA fan base isn't there like the NBA fan base is. You get what I'm saying? Like you got you have real. Like yeah, you do have real fans have that are real girls. Fans. That are girls that no, they're I, really I'm not saying that the WNBA doesn't you know have any what? fans. You know what? You know what? I feel like I have a chance to make it in the WNBA. You I feel, feel like, like you have a, a chance? Like I Joanna like Man? Right now, it's so early right now. It's so early nah. right now. Yeah, it's I ain't got... I'm going I'm to be, I'm no, be no, honest. No, 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 no. Look, look at it. Look at it like this. I'm going to be honest. So, hold up. Arian said, ask him how you feel about the vice president, the new vice president. Um, I think I believe he's talking about Kamala. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I don't have enough political. Yeah, bro. When it comes to political yeah. we're not. We're not. You, over you here gotta for have that. Chris on the episode for this. Chris is not on, but Chris is, more Chris is missing an Yeah, action, look. I repeat, I'm gonna I'm be honest. Yeah, th- when it comes down to Kamala, I, I don't got it. So I'm not. I mean, you give me your opinion on Kamala. <laughs> yeah, we talk shit on that. Yeah. 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 What does Kamala mean to you? He bounced. Though. He bounced. But okay, but. But again, back back to the topic of the girl thing, real quick, so we can revert back, right? You know what? You know what's a, a really big problem now? It's just that transgender shit. It's just men trying to get into women's sport and oh. breaking I mean, that, records. That, that's already a thing. Breaking records. Yeah, that's the MMA. Breaking records. There's the MMA. And it's uh, like, how is she doing that? He, the MMA girl. He, her, okay. Well, they be okay. Well, th- there's a story I know. He said, I don't know shit. <laughs> this is the story. <laughs> this, this is the story, right? The story was there was a man who became a trans, right? Turned himself into a woman and started fighting uh, MMA. Not in the UFC, but MMA. Uh, and he started whooping girls' asses left and right. Wow. And yeah. And now... This is one of those things that I said, well, if we're going to legalize, right? Meaning, and by legalize, I mean, like, people were, were talking about, like, I don't know if this is still active or not, I but I know certain states were right talking now. about, like, if kids are born, they give them the option of 
of choosing their sex when they're of age. Meaning that for the time being, their sex won't be determined. Meaning f male or female, that, that won't be a factor until they are old enough, I guess, or they get to an age where they decide what they want to be. And to me personally, look, I don't, I don't have, an, I don't have like a real like, oh my God, you can't do this. I'm, a, I'm, I'm against this. It's not really that deep for me. I mean, that's what you want to do with your life. Cool. The questions I ask are those questions that that surround, for example, female sports. If you are a male who transitioned, that's what I'm saying. If you're a male who transitioned into a female, and now you're you're you are seen as a female, right? In the eyes of the law, or whatever you're seen as a female. Well, then you can go into any fucking sport you want to, like like realistically speaking. And you, for example, a female wants to become a man, right? And ends up being in the NFL. Ain't nobody gonna look down on that, cause like shit, you done made it amongst all these big motherfuckers. But now, if a if a female becomes, I'm, I'm sorry, the vice versa of that. Now, if a male becomes a female and gets into a sport that's dominated by females, and they they start dominating that shit, then there's gonna be a fucking problem, isn't there? Because now you got a fucking grown ass man who just because that's what I'm saying. So th those are the things that those are the questions that's, I personally have on on the whole. I don't know how you regulate that. That's the thing. How do you regulate a man fighting with women? It's because we're we we are now having different definitions as to what a man and woman are. As I want, I feel like at one General. point in time, I feel like at one point in time we were clear on what a man and a woman was, or maybe we were never clear about it. And that's exactly why we have this mess going on now. But I feel like you know from birth it's pretty fucking obvious, right? You're born with a dick. But this now look, check this out. Cause now I'm glad I said this. If you're born with a dick, you're considered a man, right? But then they'll be like, well, what about if you're a hermaphrodite, right? Like you're born a woman, but you have a penis. Well, then you see, like shit starts to get real complex, right? People start to be like, oh, well, what if you're like, what if you're born like this and that, bro? Let me. I don't know the percentage of hermaphrodites. I don't know how many people are born that way. Clearly, there's a name for it that's not man or female. So I feel like that's already medically like put on hold you get me or medically like highlighted as like yo this is like not a normal thing so we're gonna instead of calling you a male or a female how we do to the majority of the population we're just gonna put you in the middle this gray area and and again it's more that's the is more gray area so it's so much gray area that we don't fucking know what we're talking about anymore it's remember, like what i remember, she was, I remember that, that that fighter was trying to get into the mma and dana white was like nah 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 we're not what, doing what that. what fighter that, that, that trans oh really was trying to, and dana oh white i didn't like, know about dumb. that I, let, I you know, agree. You know they reti he retired already. No, yeah, he retired. He, yeah, yeah. Three, he lost to a girl. Yeah, he lost to a, yeah. He, he, lost, he lost. He lost. But girl. no, but like the second fight before that, something like that, he dominant. knocked out yeah. some girl yeah. nasty. Yeah. But I don't like, even know how they let that happen. Yeah, though, yeah like like it, it's some of these things are just a little too ridiculous. <laughs> He said, says, shouldn't fights, that's what I, yeah, I mean, that nigga would be in the women. <laughs> he was, though. Like, realistically, that, that's what it comes down to. But if you think about it, look, think about this, though. Doesn't that give people a pass now to, like, kind of go and, like, do whatever the fuck you want to do? When, whenever, when, because, okay, we're talking about legal level, right? Like, on a legal level, I can become a woman, right? Or whatever. Doesn't that start giving people, like, a pass to kind of do whatever the fuck they want? Like, like, because uh, when we're getting to that point, I feel like we need to start taking domestic violence out of here. Like, this shit doesn't even exist anymore. Sorry. Because no, now, shit. domestic vi I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say this, no. Domestic violence does exist because it's just about violence in the home or, you know, with, within your group of peoples. But the whole male versus female shit should be out the window. No, I but that like shit's not going to no, be out I, the window. I hate, I, sometimes I hate that they, they, they think domestic violence is only man to a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nah. happens the other way around. It, it could definitely happen the other way around. Beat the shit yeah, out of yeah, man. yeah, 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 yeah. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> they be slapping the shit out wait, of wait, you. Wait, wait, but wait. But you can't defend yourself because you go to jail. What do you experience with this? Nah, I'm not nah I want to hear this. <laughs> look, 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 look. You gotta be, you gotta man. Just was like, I, I want to go home beat. today, so bro. I, I want to go to sleep I today, bro. I can't talk about that. Okay, okay. Nah, but this is my point of view. Uh huh. We're men. We're strong. We're generally strong. We're supposed to be strong. We're, well, you know, genetically, we're yeah, stronger we, than women, we, no we, matter what, no matter what. Because the testosterone. Obviously, if you're a scrawny guy, if you're a scrawny guy, hey, look, I give it to you, hey, bro. But if you're like you, you're built, you're fit. You think a little, yes. No, you're fit. Dude. I, get out of here. Okay. Get out of here. I don't think so. you, have you been to Disney? Look, go to Disney and look at the look at the look at the state of America. Say, look at the state of America. Just go to Disney. Go what to. I promise you. Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of fat, fat people. Oh, white people. <laughs> there's a bunch of white fat people, people complaining about the heat. We was in there in the heat. I wasn't complaining at all. At all. I wasn't complaining. Nah, you tripping. I was hot. It was kind of hot. And it was look, raining. It was kind of American. It was kind of. It's kind of pure American, right? Such here. a dirty. Look! 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 It's if, if, a a if a woman ass that's <laughs> smaller than you, if a woman that's smaller than you, significantly smaller than you, if she hits you a back the head, if she hits you, even punches you, 
I don't think that should be a reason to be like, you fucking hurt me. No. You man up. You, you learn how to restrain. No, no, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, you got to learn how to restrain. Nah, you can, no, you Whoa. can't even do that, big dog. You got to learn how to restrain. Because if she's attacking no, okay, no, at this point, no, if she's attacking no. you, you, you got to learn how to restrain. You let your ass get whooped and leave. Yeah, I'm about to say. You, you, play, look, you, you, got, got, you got to think about this now. You got you to think about this. It's very it's very difficult because that that's why a lot of these things happen, right? What ends up happening many times is that a man tries to restrain you. Girl, you try. But once I'm having she ends up antagonizing you more, right? Meaning she's trying to get at you, you. she don't control. care. You gotta have control. You you're right, but that's what I'm saying. But that's where usually you're fucked up too, because okay, you holding her hands down, right? You holding them shit's tight, whatever, whatever. The police comes, nigga, you got your fucking hand marks on her goddamn wrist. What what you gonna say? Where she try to I play was, you real I quick? Was to, I was trying to restrain that's her. Yo, I was trying to restrain whenever whenever was trying that to happens, her. you gotta bounce. Like you, that means you gotta leave. Like like don't put your hands on her. You gotta but leave. Leaving is just as bad as, as getting caught. In nah, the I don't think so, man. I, I think you gotta you leave, leave to deescalate leave, the situation. Like, oh, he left. He did something. No, no, no. no, no, no but left. you gotta leave to deescalate the situation. Meaning, like if if your girls are like if your girls gotten to the point where she's putting her hands on you, first of all, that's wrong. Yeah. Nobody should be doing that. Yeah, yeah, but if she's gotten to the point of putting her hands on you for real, like yo, you like really gotta like yo, like she's really throwing punches. She's really out here. Then at that point, bro, just book it, bro. Get in your car and take off, my G. Like, now, you my, have now, to. My, now, let me ask you something. How many men do you know like, that have to be able to swallow their pride like that? Because when it's you a lot leave, of ego. that means, oh, I'm out. Fuck this shit. You I can, agree. You can seem weak. If a nigga is like 100 pounds and he's going out with a girl that's six foot two. Oh, no, so you dating a nigga, bro. You dating a whole <laughs> you ass dating, nigga. You, dating, you ain't dating no if girl. You listen, nigga. If you a nigga, listen. He's talking about Tory Lanez. No, he's talking about transvestites. That's what he's talking about. We're talking about trans. Look, look. He's like, what if a nigga is like 100 pounds and he's going out with a That's girl that I'm is six foot two? That's what I'm talking about scrawny men. That's what I'm talking about scrawny men. Six foot 200 pounds sounds like another fucking man to me, my nigga. First of I don't all, know, bro. What are you doing dating that type of woman? Because you must love that. You must love it. You cool. must love getting hands. I don't know. Nah, you can't, help, you can't help who you fall in love with, though. Yeah, it's, bro. You don't help who you fall in love with. You know you're going to fall in love with your girl? I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Now we don't know that yet. We don't know that yet. We don't know that yet. Yes, we don't know that yet. But that's no. You know what? That's a good point. That's exactly like a Tory. Look, the the in Arian actually just because you asked that question. So this is the thing. This is this was my prediction for the Tory Meg situation right before all this shit came out. I don't know what happened yet. We don't know yet, right? Because it's still a court date. I don't think we'll never know. My thing was if Tory shot her in the foot, if 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 Tory shot her in the foot. I thought it was because you're trying to scare her off. You get me? Like, you know how you shoot on the floor real quick? Like, you know, back in the day, the Western movies, they shoot on the floor to make you dance and shit. That's what I thought he was trying to do with Megan. You get me? He was probably like, oh, you know, a little squash shit that she be doing? He was probably trying to do some bullshit like that on her. And that's what I thought had, had happened. Now, he's saying he didn't shoot her. So that's why, you know, this whole story kind of changes. What's up? What's up? You looking at me he, like he shot? He sh- did he really? No, did he have? The, we don't, we don't know. know. She nothing. says even, yes. Even whoever did that, even if it's to you, what you're gonna say, it's yeah. Just, yeah. If you know about guns, you know that that's so stupid. You know bullets ricochet, and it could hit her. It could. It could have hit her in the head. It could. Yeah. It could, that, so I don't think it ricocheted. Hit her on the foot though. Is that you know the thing? This is the thing though. He this, probably the, missed. The she thing about moved. that. The thing about that topic though is that everybody's saying, "Yo, if you didn't do that, why wouldn't you come out immediately so an and album? and say?" And that's why people are having a problem with it because like, yo, you dropped the album before you even talked about it. Yada yada. So I get it. I, I get why people are having a problem with it. Of course, I understand it. However. When Tori comes on IG Live and says, yo, I got proof I didn't do it, yada, 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 y'all got to wait for court, Ooh. listen, listen, bro, I can't say shit. I gotta be, All right, bro, let, let's hear your side what now, bro. What I don't what know because, because our, okay, what are we doing with Meg? Are, are we not just taking Meg at her word? That's all we're doing. And, well, we're not only taking her word. We're taking her at her word, her pictures. What she's in on the the what? What if she's in on the shambles? What if it's a whole publicity stunt for his from to promote his album, nah, which is extreme, so. which that's is a extreme, publici- that's which a bad is extreme. Publici- a publicity stunt would have been gonna, dating. But how is it on the news? How is it making news? How are we still talking about this? It, oh, that's we all not. We just brought it up that's randomly. I mean, realistically, nobody's talking talk about, about this no more. If you think about it, like Corona, nobody's talking about Corona no more. Yeah, people still talk about Corona. Bro, listen. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Why would you say that? He said Tory was the size of that gun. Stop playing. You the size of that gun too. Carried on his back. You the size of that gun too. Carried the gun on his back. Yeah, look at Arian. Arian trying people. Yo, Arian, you short too. Stop it. Stop it. Yo, you gotta send the for short people. You gotta help your teammates. Short people. Listen, listen. Short people. We need to start standing up for each other. This is. A problem in America, my guy. Sure, people need to start standing up for I'm one another. This is what happened. Listen, no, you, both they are not associated. Both they are considered tall men here already, or average sized men. Now, me on the other hand, nah, 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 you're you're five nine, right? You're five ten. No, five nine. 
Okay, the average size in America for a man is 5'9". How tall are you? I'm 6 foot. You're not 6 foot. Stop it. Dog. You're like 5'10". For real, you 6 feet? Bro, I stand on my third leg and then we 6 feet. Dog. Whoa, that's a big leg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. So check it. So check it. So this is what happens, right? This is what happens. So the short man, if you really think about it, in the United States takes shit from everybody, my nigga. Because cause now, what's America known for? All the, the football, the ego, the, the big white dogs. boys drinking, hoo, 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 right? Okay, so what happens tailgate. to the short man? So what happens to the short man? You get lost here because what do women want? Women always talking about the tall men. Women always want, uh-huh. Now go ahead, right. So women yeah. always want the tall guy. So the short guy is always, so that whole Napoleon, look, I am short. Okay, see, I'm 5'8". I'm 5'8". No, you're not 5'8". Five, <laughs> he you're lied. You're 5'7 and a half. 5'7 and a half. Short life, man. I'm, there we go. Because it's true though, because look, you got to think about it. A woman looks at a short man and you're looked at as like, eh. Like you're not, you're not even intimidating. So like whenever a short guy gets mad, just a little mad, right? Or like, gonna or, or raises his voice, what happens? What well, he said, oh, look at him. He's having the Napoleon syndrome. Oh, little man. Immediately, because the minute any short man shows any kind of emotion that isn't like straight face or like, you know, carrying yourself with like dignity, then you have Napoleon syndrome or you're, you get treated like shit out here. And Duval said this shit best because if you think about it, we only short here in the U.S. Like in China, my name, I'm, t- I'm tall in China for sure because in China, what's the average height in China? Go do your no math. Way, Go do your no math. Way. In India, in India, come on, bro. Because no. those are stereotypically the shortest people. You know what I'm saying? So when you come from there, it's a whole different story. Short people, y'all got y'all to do better. Do better, man. Because... And that's what I'm saying. I'm short. That's what I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of the short we community. Say we gotta do I'm speaking on behalf of the short community. We got to do better. And it's also, look, just how Black Lives Matter is a thing, which obviously that's a very strong political view. I get it. But but just how women equality, women equality thing, bro, listen, bro, height equality got to be a thing too. Yeah. We're going to start talking about gender equality and gender roles. We're going to start talking about height roles. All right. Now, me personally, I'd rather a girl taller than me. Because she'll reach for every, but if I had a girl telling me reach for everything in the top shelf, can you pass me the bro? You have no idea, bro. Listen, in the closet at the crib, we have this little like stand that we gotta step on to reach the shoes all the way up. Like I got shoes stacked up, bro. The fourth, I can't reach the fourth shoe without like that little ladder. Like I can't, bro. Like I gotta I'll jump for that shit. That shit be looking horrible. You know how? Let like, think about it. Think about the ego hit I take <laughs> when I'm up here trying to fucking jump for some fucking shoes and shit. Look, you got Kevin in here. Kevin's tall ass. Don't gotta deal with that shit he too long no the worst part about kevin is that kevin's long too hey i know one thing the best rappers are short talk about it Ooh, like who who name and name name the rappers please name them no way name them look at kevin yeah kevin over here laughing because he don't got to deal with these problems yeah kevin got tall people problems. You know, actually you know what no. i don't know what are tall people problems Tell people, Kev, 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 people what's the problem with tall people? Tell us, bro. Because if Lil, oh, look, Lil Wayne, yeah, you're right. But nobody respects, I feel like nobody respects Lil Wayne like that no more, right? I feel like, yeah, bro, like. Now, Lil Uzi was getting some girls, I ain't going to lie. Yo, Kev. too much of a bad bitch. Now, he right, though. Yo, Kev, tell us some uh, tall people problems. Nah, Drake's you know, like 6'2", bro. Nah, nah, yeah, nah, nah, he nah, is. Nah, 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 bro, no my G, no he way, says it in the song, bro. The baby, the baby's not Such, short. Nah, the baby's short. The baby's like my short. height. I think he baby. The, the baby's like 5'8". Yeah, short. the baby definitely. You know, it is the baby swole, so he don't look that short. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to wrap this up. Last one, bro. The tall thing. What are, y'all niggas, listen y'all tall niggas don't struggle with shit. What are you talking about? Listen, listen, You average. Listen, 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 No, you really six feet? Are you really six feet? No, bro. How tall Look, are you for real? I'm like 5'5". Five, five. Stop <laughs> it, bro. Statistically. 5'11", right? Like five, uh, that's pretty tall, All right, bro. You can, you can believe me. Five, uh, you can believe me. That's your struggle. Listen, Into the coop. That's your struggle. Get your ass on. women home. that are tall. That fucking guy is getting into the car. This nigga, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Statistically, women that are tall over, over probably six foot, it's very difficult for them to find a partner. That's very true. Very difficult. That's very, very true. Very difficult. That's why you don't see a lot of tall women. And even if you do see a lot of tall women, it's their guy or their partner oh, like is taller than like, yeah, yeah, or, yeah. or they're the same height. Like the Chloe girl, Chloe. Yeah, she, she it's big. It's very difficult. She big. Very the difficult. Really you know what? That's, I, that's I agree, though. That's the only chance they have. That's only I agree, but if you think about it, though, that's a big ego thing, though. The reason for that is the ego thing. Think about how the man, right? The man is looked at, especially here in the United States, as someone who should be... What are men looked at in general? As providers, as protectors, right? So if, in, let's, let's take the protector part. The protector part has a lot to do with how you look. Meaning, 
if you look at The Rock, right? The Rock is 6'5", 260. You're not fucking with The Rock. Like, you don't want to fuck with... Imagine imagine taking The Rock's daughter to prom. That shit must be fucking... Beat. Yo, it was nerve-wracking. Imagine being a guy fucking having to go pick up The Rock's daughter. That's nerve-wracking. Or 50 Cent, imagine 50 Cent had a daughter, and a guy had to go pick up her daughter. Like, that's fucking nerve-wracking, my G. You got this swolger motherfucker, or even, or tall even as LeBron's fuck. daughter. You're not, you're That's not what I'm saying. Like, yo, do, those are nerve wrecking. Actually, not, not, not LeBron, because LeBron seems a little like, you know, not pussy, but, but, but like. if he has to beat a nigga eh, ass, do you think them hands nah, are going to handle that? Nah, so, I don't think so, man. What? He had too much to lose, bro. I'm just saying, on the private. Got too on much the private. Lose. In the private. But setting, I hear what you're saying. But I hear what you're saying. Jesus says, look, it's simple. You want to feel tall? What I did, get a smaller girl than you. Damn. You can't do that. No, you can't do that. You that's can't playing off your ego. You're playing off your ego when you do that. This is what I'm trying to get at. Look. We get played off our ego because of this shit right here. If we're meant to be looked at as protectors, right? Man. You don't look at a little guy. For example, you're going to hire security for you. You're going to hire somebody that's smaller than no, you or taller than you. You're going to hire somebody who's bigger than you. Because then, why the fuck am I hire somebody who's smaller than me? It's like, nigga, I'm going to look like I'm protecting him and I'm paying you. You get me? So, at the end of the day, that's why the small guy's always going to take that shit. It's always going to be that ego, though. It's it always 100% when it comes down to men and problems, it's ego 100% of the time. Look, look at it. I think this All is right, cool. 99% of the time. Yeah, no. What's harder? Taking out Obama's daughter on a date or taking on LeBron's daughter on a date when she's of age. What's harder? But What's harder? Let's be real. You'll take blame wait, 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 wait. wait. Taking, taking, taking on LeBron's daughter when she's of age whenever. Okay. Taking her on a date or taking on Barack Obama's daughter on a date. What's I harder? Think, I think Barack What's Obama. Harder? I think Barack Obama. Remember, remember. And quick. <laughs> I think I think taking Barack Obama's daughter is way more nerve wracking because they still have social, uh, not, not, secret uh, a secret service with them to this day. Yeah, today die. Forever. Till yeah, so so th so think about all the clearance. Think about all the clearance that yo ass. Like, but for you to go take her out, you're probably gonna run a background check on you. They're probably gonna follow you on the fucking car, wherever you're at. Like, they'll probably drive you to the place. Like, the motherfucker might of, be there with that's you. That's what I'm saying. It's a <laughs> lot of shit that you ain't gonna be like, it ain't gonna be a regular date. Yeah, I mean, you ain't gonna be a regular nigga having a regular date. What are the benefits of being tall? What are the benefits of being short? I mean, he says short niggas run fast. No, no, that's not. Look nah, at the same bro. boat. Like that doesn't make any sense. Nah, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, well, I, 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 no, no. What well, Arian, exactly. When you're taller, you got longer legs, you got more ground to pick. I think what Arian's trying to say is that you got more energy when you're little. You get me? Because I feel like when you're tall, like it's hard the energy to muscle, has to though. travel really through, yeah. through your whole body. When you're shorter, you got, you got, it's right here. You know what I mean? It's, up, it's coming in and out, bro. It's yeah, don't quick do that. pumps. Don't do that. I said, you quick pump. You know what I'm talking about? Just, so what he's trying to say is not that rough, but they got more energy. You got more energy. So, yo, in term, being short helps at some point. What I'm trying to get at is that, especially the female, stop, tr stop treating short niggas like shit, bro. Yeah, y'all treating them niggas like shit. Some short niggas, listen, some short niggas got big dicks too, okay? Some short niggas got a lot of money too. Some short niggas got ambition too. You know, not only the tall motherfuckers out here, you know, that look handsome and look like, um, who's his nigga name? Thor, Thor, like looking like fucking Chris Thor. Evans. Yeah, like so cause again, in America, that's the guy you play off of. The Chris Evans, the Chris Hemsworth, like this fucking like specimen of men, you get me? Like that don't really exist on your day to day. You get what I'm saying? So again, the Sherman gets a lot of shit in the US if you really think about it. And I get that look, for example, like you average niggas, right? You average I, niggas. I, I, like I, I don't like how you said that. You <laughs> average niggas. <laughs> Look, you average, so but let, let me, you said like point guards, for example. Yeah, but point guards ain't short. They short when you look at them on TV, but they like 6'2", 6'3", in real big. life. Them boys They're big, big ass life. niggas. That's what I'm saying. Those are big niggas. So, wait, I just lost my fucking trend. I was about to say right now. Oh, you regular niggas. I was about to say, the thing with regular, regular niggas is this. Niggas, I'm going to tell you, this is the thing with average niggas, right? The thing with average niggas, that average niggas don't ever accept the average part. So, meaning, like, they're like, oh, we in the middle, so we get away with this shit. Meaning, oh, I'm going to rank on the little nigga. When you, you, bro, if your ass gets hit by a hammer and you shrink one inch more, nigga, you my size. <laughs> you with me down here, bro. We in the same struggle. But y'all niggas don't want to accept that shit. Y'all want to act like y'all niggas way above, like, six feet or some shit like that. And that's another problem. Again, in your... Cause you gotta you gotta recognize your privilege. You got pretty people privilege, and you got tall people privilege. Yeah, privilege? No, that's what I'm saying. About the pretty privilege. Huh? We never talked about the pretty people privilege. Let's talk about it. What do you think that means? You know what I mean? With quickness they and did agility. A, they, they, on Netflix, they had a little, whole little study of a hundred people. Oh, they did. They did have you a saw that, that? I saw part of that shit. I was watching like um what? certain studies. Look what like they did. Just, so this is crazy. Talk people about it. Talk about it. Better. This is, this is crazy. Bro, they, with Mills, bro, we went to we went to Foot Locker. 
How, how the fuck you go to Foot Locker and this is during COVID? There's a line, right? Out the door, right? She went to the door and she's like, oh, can I get this size? And she's like, oh, to a guy. And the guy's like, uh, give me a second. Let me think about it. Let me, let me it's, get it, 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 uh, the, like, the line never existed. Like, fuck the line. And we got in and we paid and we left. Fuck the line. You we get, get a, everybody. You do, you do get away with things better. <laughs> but but how, is she, how is he supposed to? He probably was attracted to her. No disrespect. He probably was attracted to her. He was. And he probably was like, hey, look, maybe if I get this from, for her, she probably but that's, something that, might happen. That's the whole point of pretty people privilege. That you treat it's, them it's, way different. Yeah, it could happen. Maybe. I, I, I'm going to give, give you an example. I'm going to give you an example. It's like, it's like the, I learned about pretty people privilege real early on, right? So, for example, in the movie, there's a movie, The Hot Chick, right? Which is played by um, Rob Schneider. It, it basically, the movie plays off of, like, these ancient earrings that this little hot girl, some hot-ass girl that lives in the suburbs, and Rob, who's like, you know, this bum, right, wherever, right? They... they end up, you know, like finding the earrings they wear, they switch bodies, right? And so what the girl, when when she was in her body, what she used to do when she used to go to the mall was she'll, she'll order, like, ice cream, right, for, like, all her girlfriends and shit, right? It's, like, five of them. And she'll look at the guy, real seductive, you know, grab a, 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 a piece of the ice cream in her finger, lick it off her finger real soft, look at the guy dead in his eyes, right? The nigga fall in love. Seducing. Right, exactly. And she'll be like, um, how much do I owe you? He'll be like, it's, a, it's on the house, it's on the house. You know, like, letting her slide with it, right? And so when they switch bodies, mind you, it's the girl's spirit, but in the man's body, right? So she still getting accommodated to it. It's a grown bum, right? And she tries to do the same shit again, but it didn't fucking work out, my nigga, because no you ain't fucking pretty. So that's where you see pretty people privilege really strike a lot. You see it in, like, you know, when it comes, for example, like, job, like, when you go to a job interview, right? If you are a pretty girl, it's more, in, for example, like, let's say you have a male boss and you're a pretty girl. Odds of you getting hired are probably higher, higher. especially if your male boss is a little bit of a creep. You get me? He might be yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm a higher shorty, whatever. And you might try to do bullshit in the, in the office. You get me? Because that's, cause that, that's how it's gone for, like, fucking ever, if you really think about it. You get me? Like, don't think that rich women don't look at pretty men and they try to seduce them the same way and make them sugar babies and all types of shit. It's just, again, like, I, like we said at the beginning of this shit, women are just way better at handling matters, period, than men are. Just in general. I feel like in general, a lot of women are, are better at handling a lot of situations than men are. And cheating is one of them. Because girls know how to fucking cheat. If girls, if women, you know how you go to YouTube and every time you get an ad, they tell you, oh, well, if you do this, I'll make you a millionaire. If you do this, I'll do it. If a woman comes up saying, oh, if you do this, I'll make a successful cheater, that shit will blow up. That shit will blow up. Damn. That shit Damn. will blow up. Oh, All right, man. Let me see. Cheater. Is that, yeah, a, is that such a thing? Different. That's really a thing. A successful a, cheater? A Hell successful yeah. Of course, there's cheater. A, of course there is. Okay, any more topics? Any more topics before we close? I feel like we've been talking way too long. No, I think we... Uh, uh, over an hour, hour, for sure. Yeah. Y'all good? No, we was straight. All right, y'all. Look, man. So, like I said, this is the first episode of this. Um, But I feel like every time I get pulled over, I want to tell the cop... Put that gun Whoa, down. Whoa, what? <laughs> no, done. that's a whole different so story I will, for another I, day. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a tough life out there. It's hard out there. It's hard out there, man. Oh, right, yeah, but like I said, this is our first episode of trying to do this um, next week. We're going to try to pull out topics. You me try to get them off. Definitely a lot shorter because now nah, I know I got a yeah, shit ton well, of well, editing well, to do. Before we leave, we got to introduce ourselves. Well, we already did that. No, we, did, we did at the beginning. Our, we said our name? Oh, no, we didn't. We didn't. You're right, you're right, you're right. Go ahead, go ahead. You're right, because we should have done this in the introduction, but we didn't. We did not. All right, so we're we going to do the outro. Go ahead, go ahead. What's you your name? What's your name? Just say your name. Alman Hernandez. Okay, go ahead, Jay. Yo, what's up, boys? It's your boy, G Giselle Gonzalez. We out here with in the middle. All right, y'all know um, it's George. So we don't know what the name of this is going to call. Arian, uh, whoever's on this, if you have any suggestions for a name, put it down there. Let's see what y'all come up with. But by next week, you should have a name. Um should. Hey man, till then, we appreciate you guys for watching. If you watched and you liked it, please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Let us know what we could improve. Let us know what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, and we thank you guys for watching, for tuning in, especially the live. We appreciate you guys. Till next time. Peace. Peace.